If you're new to my YouTube channel, please click that subscribe button and remember to click the bell icon to get notifications of all my uploads throughout the week. Hi everyone, it's Mike here. So I've had quite a few comments from people on my journal making videos asking me how I dye the paper in those journals to make them look old. Now obviously it's traditionally done with cold tea and cold coffee um, but there are lots of different ways to do the same job. Uh, if you do a search on YouTube you'll find hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of YouTube videos showing you how to dye paper to make them look old and vintage and wrinkly, water damaged and all that kind of stuff. So I've got a batch that I need to do today and I need to do around about 20 sheets. So what I thought I would do is I would make a start and do most of them, but then just film probably the last half a dozen so you can see how I do it. Because the way that I do it um, is really, really quick. Now, normally tea dyeing papers, that kind of stuff can take hours, but the way that I do it, I can get all 20 done in less than half an hour. So once I've made a start, I'll jump in and then I'll show you how I've done it. So this is the pile of tea dye papers that I've done so far. I've still got a few more left to do. I wanted to do 20 sheets today. So what I, the way I'm doing it today is I have um, a glass mat on my worktops. Two sheets of A4 paper and this is a jug of cold water that has a mixture of distressing, this is the tea dye distressing, and cold instant coffee. Uh, and all I'm doing is just painting on the mixture onto the papers. So I'm doing this side first. All I've got room for is two sheets at any one time. So forgive my shaky camera work because I'm trying to do this and hold the camera at the same time. So that's one side. Because I want to do both, I'm now going to try and lift off the paper, flip it over, and I am just doing this with one hand, so normally I do it with two, and then grab some more of that die and just do the other side, like so. Don't mind if the juice just sits and permeates for a second or two and I'll just try and turn this one over without ripping it. Try and do this with one hand again. So just lift it, drop it down like so and then give that side, this other side, a going over. Obviously the water's soaked through and then just let juice kind of sit for a second or two. Now I have set the oven going just on a low heat. I've got it on about 150 degrees um, and that's the lights off so the temperature has been reached. I already have two pieces of paper in there that are just about ready to come out. So I'll just open that up. I'm only doing two at a time. So obviously hot hot that can go on the pile and then I can lift this one up and put it back on the tray and then put it back in the oven. Obviously I can't do that with one hand so you'll just have to um, bear with me a second while I lift this sheet up put it onto the baking tray and then I can show you putting it back in the oven. Okay so I've maneuvered the sheet of paper onto the baking tray and that can just go back in and then the next one can come out. All done, transfer to the pile and then I can lift this one up, put that on there and then bang them both in the oven and by the time I've prepared my next two sheets, those two in the oven will be ready to come out. So it's a rolling process.
That's it, oven off. So there we have 22 sheets of tea dyed aged paper in less than half an hour. So as you can see, it's not rocket science, literally. It's just a question of putting the oven on a fairly low temperature, just enough for all that water to evaporate fairly quickly, and then just applying your tea or dye or coffee mixture onto your papers. And of course, depending on the depth of color that you want, you can add more. If you want a lighter shade, add less. So you can always add more onto it if it's too light later on. But also, if you're using um, a kind of textured um, baking tray or something like that, you can sometimes get some cool patterns that also come out on the paper. So that one's kind of a lighter one, but if you turn it over, you get the reverse. Kind of weird. But it's a good way to get some good texture into your art journal pages and of course if you're using tea or coffee then sometimes you also get that nice smell too. So I hope that's kind of cleared up the way that I like to do mine. As I said it's a fairly quick and easy process. All you need is half an hour spare, a little bit of workroom, some tea, some coffee or maybe even just some of those reinkers dissolved in water on one of those foam brushes and you can have it done in next to no time. So hope you did enjoy that. If you did please remember to give it a thumbs up, share with your friends and if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel already you can do so by clicking the button at the end of the video. That's all from me for now. I will see you all again very very soon. Bye for now. I'd also like to say a huge thank you to all of my angels without whose generosity and support these videos would not be possible. Thank you.